maybe we're not. On now 96.3. Oh, you wanted to tell people who it was? Or you didn't hear me talking to him? What? I just... Never mind. Right. We're in different positions here. <laughs> okay, guys, we have moved... What is going on with your headphones, man? I don't know. It's all tangled up. His cords are all askew, huge mess. But we're over on a different side of the room because we're going to test something out here. Yesterday, we came across a story on the internet about espresso and tonic, or cold brew and tonic. Do you want to explain to people what this is? Basically, it was basically an article that says hipsters are, people are always trying to tinker with the way they do coffee, and it's like, we're adding butter and we're adding this. And the new trend is tonic water. I did. I was like, I don't know, is this interesting? And you were like, oh my God, that's crazy. You got very, very excited about it. We talked about it at length. Um, because we, it, I think it is crazy. This sounds so crazy gross, honestly. And we decided that today we were going to try it. So you did some research. You I found did. out exactly the right kind of tonic that people like to I get. I did. Fever Tree Tonic, uh, not paying me for that mention at all, but apparently, if you go online, it's very specific. Fever Tree is the way to go. Thank you. And you've you've made these drinks. We're looking at ice. Was ice a part of it? It's, they were yeah, like, it said, this is how to do yep, it. Yep, glass of ice. It said to put the tonic in first so that the coffee doesn't, everything doesn't bubble over. Apparently, if you put the coffee in first... And then the tonic afterwards it is an overflow sitch. Okay. I wanted to make sure we didn't do that. And um, there's two ways to do it, or two schools of thought when it comes down to this. Okay. One is that you take a hot shot of espresso okay. and put it in the top. And the other one is that you use cold brew. Now, I chose cold brew because I like cold coffee the best. Sure. Um, and I read some reviews about the hot, where it mixes weird and is kind of chalky and strange. Okay. Starbucks even has a video of them creating a recipe around this drink. So it's apparently a thing, and we're going to try it right now. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. I just, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to just taste like carbonated coffee, but I don't know. Well, tonic is a little bit sweet. I know. This Fever Tree brand looks serious, so I'm ready. You sniff ready? It. Give it a sniff. Smells like coffee. Oh, yeah. It does. All right. All right. I'm ready. Cheers. Ready? ready to go. We're on the we're on the Instagram live right now if you want to watch Cheers. us. It's uh, now 963. Oh, goodness. Oh, I think I'm out. It's very strange. Oh, I don't like it at all. Oh, I'm going to give it one more. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm giving, oh. it, I'm giving it a second sip. No. I... These flavors don't belong together. Hmm. Not good. Um, I'm not against it. Yeah. It's just not spectacular either way. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I just gave it another sip, and uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I would, I'd be curious. I've obviously tasted what this coffee tastes like by itself. I, I think I'll have to taste the tonic and kind of see what I'm dealing with there. Cause maybe I don't, I just don't like the tonic. I don't know. Ugh, it's, it, it did say to go with more of a Ethiopian bean as opposed to like that's, other, be it was very specific. It was very specific. That's what it is. It should have been an Ethiopian I know. Bean. I went with the wrong coffee. I'd I'm be, sure. I'd be jumping for joy right now if this bean was Ethiopian. Uh, all right, I'm it's going. in your hand again, like you're going to sip I it. I know. Why, 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 <laughs> you picked it up, and it's so close to your mouth. It's People like you forgot listening. that it's not great, and you're going to drink it anyway. They're listening. They're watching on Instagram. I want I want to do my due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a good sip. Mm. No. Oh, yeah. I really don't like it. I'm. I'm. That'll be my list. The more I drink it, the more I'm into this. Yeah. That's I think if you put, like, and they do say to garnish it, and I didn't, they said garnish it with rosemary. Oh, you know how I feel um, about garnish. Lemons, limes, or, like, put a maraschino cherry in there, and the syrup apparently is really delicious as well. I'm going to get into that. I think I kind of like this. You're going to keep going? Yeah, I might finish my drink. Okay. Yeah, finish your drink. We'll, we'll, we will keep talking about it. We'll keep the music going, of course. If you want to uh, win yourself uh, something awesome, make sure that you retweet our front row ticket poll. I'm going to tell you all about what that something awesome is because it's a giant prize pack, and I want to make sure that I get it all correctly because I know you want that. Um, but let's do some music now. Zane? Yeah. Taylor Swift? I like that guy. Don't want to live forever.